Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we will continue discussing Statistics and Probability, Chapter 5. So let's get started. So given the set of data that we have, we can see that it is already arranged in an increasing or an ascending order. So let's say that these uh, numbers are actually uh, salaries of 35 families starting from 12,000 as the lowest and then 60,000 as the highest. Pinakamababa yung 12,000, mataas yung 60,000 as their salaries or sahod. Now, looking at this uh, data, we can actually see that 32,250 is our median. So, paano natin nasabi that median is the middle value from this set of data? It is because we have actually 35 items and um, this number happens to be our 18th value or our 18th value happens to be 32,250. Thus, 32,250 or 18th is our median because it's in the middle. 18 out of 35. Um, next, we can also see that the same number, 32 or the same amount sal of salary, 32,250, is our mode. So what does that mean? It is the mode because it has occurred nine times. So it is the most frequent. Siya yung pinakamadalas. So you can see in the illustration, we have 932,250 um, salaries. And then, finally, upon computing, we have determined that the average salary is 30,007 pesos and 14 centavos. This is now our mean. So, how did we find mean? We just averaged all of the salaries here and then divided it by the total number, which is 35. Discussion, we have what we call as measures of location or the mean, median, and the mode. So, mean is computed as the sum of all observations in the data set divided by the number of observations that you include in the sum. So, looking at the sample graph that we have here, we can see that the blue line is the mean and it is uh, somewhere after 1.0. Now, uh, from our given earlier, the salaries of 35 families, we summed it all up and it, uh, it, it was equal to 1,050,250 pesos. And then we divided it by 35. Thus, we have determined that the mean or the average is 30,007 pesos and 14 centavos. So, here is the formula for mean. You can see it is summation of n and then you have x1 over n. And to put it simply, you just have to sum up all of the, the given and then divide it by the total number. So, that's how uh, simple mean is. Mean is average. And then next, we have what we call as the median. Uh, median is the middle value in an array of observation. So, there are actually two ways in how you would find the median. First, it will be the number divided by 2 and number divided by 2 plus 1. Um, this happens depending on the set of data, whether you have odd or even. Uh, since for our example, we have 35 observations or odd, it's very easy for us to determine which is the middle. You will just split the group in half and then you can see the value at the middle, which is 18th. But if you have an even set of data, you will not see any digit or number in the middle. This is why what you would have to do is you would add one. Let's say our um, observation is um, uh, 36. If it's 36, what we would be doing is we would have to add 35 plus 1 divided by 2. And then we will also get 18. 
And then finally, we have the mode. Mode is the value that occurs most often or it is the value that has the highest frequency. In our example earlier, we have the value of 32,250 that occurred 9 times. Um, it has the highest frequency which is equal to 9. Now, if you only have one mode, like for our example, you call that unimodal. If you have two modes, it's bimodal and three upwards, it's multimodal. These uh, three prop uh, measures has its own properties uh, like what we have mentioned earlier. Um, the mean is the most commonly used measure of central tendency since it could be likened to as a center of the gravity. Like for our picture here, you can compare it as the middle in a balance, right? Because it would balance everything out. If you have variables that have extremes, uh, low as low as 12,000 and then as high as 60,000, uh, the average acts as the center of the gravity. The bigger box here that we can see is the mode. It's 32,250. It's because it was the most common from all the set of data. And at the same time, it's near the center because it's also our median. Um, as we have mentioned earlier, which was the 18th value in the given. This all have to do with uh, what we have learned so far. Ano bang kinalaman niya sa mga pinag-aralan natin previously? So, common mistake is that when people try to understand mean, median, and mode, they're just con um, constricted with the computation. Well, that's not wrong. We could also use the same measures in order for us to determine our data or what is the context of our data. Like for example, if you would like to find out what should I use, ano bang dapat kong gamitin, mean, median, or mode? First, you would have to ask yourself, what type of data do you have? Is it nominal? Because if it's nominal, then it's best for you to use mode. If it's ordinal, interval, or ratio, you would be drill down to the next question. What is the size of the data? Is it small or is it large? If it's small, it's best to use mean or median. If it's large, the next question is, are there outliers? Because if there are outliers, you should use median. And if there are no outliers, it's best to use mean. So all of these things can be applied to your research, your applied research, or research 1, 2, and 3 for senior high school. Um, this can serve as your guide in order for you to know what type of statistical method should I use. Are you on a qualitative research or are you on a quantitative research, practical research, so on and so forth. Now finally, let's try to do this activity. In this set of data, let's try to find the mean median and mode now you can pause this video for a while so you can try answering it yourself now if you're done let's go ahead and see the answers so for mean first what you would have to do is add all the numbers in the set and then divide it by the total number so here we have added 5 plus 13 plus 9 7 1 9 2 9 and 11 which is equals to 66 you divide it by 9 and then your answer is 7.33 so 7.33 or 7 is our mean next for our median as well as our mode here what we can do for or what we have to do first is arrange it in a specific order or an ascending order so we started with 1, 2, 5, 7, 9, 9, 9, 11, and 13. So from this given, we can actually see that we have 9 um, numbers. And then if we would split it in half, 9, num uh, nine total number is odd. So if it's odd, it's very easy for you to find out where the median is. It's just in the middle. And then at the same time, 
we can also see that the number 9 is the most common number from this set. Thus, it, it, uh, it also becomes our mode. There you have it. I hope you have uh, learned something from this very short lesson. Um, please follow me from all the platforms that you can see in the screen. Uh, you can also send me a personal message if you need assistance on the lessons that we have discussed or anything that's related to this uh, discussion. With that, thank you so much and to God be all the glory. Till our next episode.